In business, as you know, survival is optional. And you've taken steps to survive. That's great. We're glad you did. And if you continue to play this right, one positive outcome you can look forward to is that your business will emerge more resilient to the negative impacts of COVID-19 and other environmental and human disasters that are just a part of our ongoing reality. I'm sure you've heard that culture eats strategy for breakfast. I'm personally also a big fan of your culture is your brand. One way this might show up in your business is that high-performing teams have a strong sense of team identity. That's because they have become a tightly knit group of people that know how to work as a unit to achieve outstanding results. So it's worth pausing to think about the impacts of decentralizing your people. Some questions are probably weighing on us all, like what will the lack of co-location and in-person interaction do to our culture? Can we even work remotely and in decentralized ways? Uh, we're definitely not used to it. It's not business as usual. And what's the impact to communication and collaboration since those two things touch absolutely everything we do as a business? As a leader, you want your people to have what they need to succeed so they can continue crushing it for you. And they need your help. I'm sure you can feel it. In this short video, I hope to share a few actions you can take that can maybe help you get some quick wins and serve your people related to communication. So yes, starting out, communication and collaboration just got harder, not easier. It's helpful to simply face that fact. And though you may not be able to do much for internet capacity, very few of us can, you can make it as easy as possible for your people to connect in effective ways to get work done. One idea for you is to provide best-in-class video conferencing tools. Stuttering video or incomprehensible audio can take any meeting right into a ditch. I'm sure we've all been in these meetings, so you've experienced it. But worse, it can actually discourage future communication and collaboration from ever taking place. And I've tried a lot of these tools. Not all of them are created equally. Zoom, in my opinion, is a standout. Also, notice that everyone at your company just lost access to a physical whiteboard where a lot of great collaboration used to take place. Why not replace it with a digital one? Miro is a wonderful tool that I love using and is flexible enough to serve an astonishing number of use cases. You may even be able to retire existing tools and use Miro instead to avoid an additional expense. And if you haven't already, share out a work from home pro tips document so your people set up their environments and behaviors for success. There are definitely wrong ways to do it that compromise security and effectiveness. If you're starting from scratch on that document, you might want to check out our own document, which is posted on our website. And the last idea I'll share with you in this video is to make sure people know who to contact for what and how to contact them. Get those people to update their profiles and contact information in whatever communication channels you currently have. This sounds super simple, and it is. But in my work, I see that it is often overlooked and is usually a missing piece for teams and organizations. The bottom line on this is if it's hard to communicate, people will stop doing it. So greasing the wheels everywhere you can think of will help your teams and your business succeed. Like I mentioned earlier, I hope some of these ideas can be of use to you. Look for more topics and more depth on our website. At Kin & Carta, we love to help companies navigate these challenges. This is why we exist. Get in touch to find out how.